Ndipongashi <laughs> Ole tavuru okuva ko onjira ze ngashi enyoro lya team ole tatse omadira ziro gomwa ole tavuru okumtsa omaere ole empere shatango yeshimu eshimugalulire oshoka ai hewe yashi twakuye omorwe ai ashihe ilipo nashi notashi shuna kuye 
Karunga na simane kwe aluhe luhe. Amen. Opotum tambleko ni umbole batate kuru matati ya sehane kongo. Katu naonene uche iha putu tonga bonta hala ike ndapeo shinako wanifasho pondi ni tambule kwa musha 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 Muri monchi omu na aviri me umbo Kucha oma tamburu wako nawa No menywa ushe Oma tamburu wako amushe 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 me umbo No malongi kidire mwali eli malongi kidba kwa longi kidire wake she ume No venda ya tawa jako kule 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 Ndoko ilongere kwa sefuzwe You are welcome You are welcome I'm from here and I'm working at my pacha meter place Yes It's where I'm from yesterday Amusho matamburu wako Natudanino shituzesi Sholudarole tu Nombili Ne hafo defiot atu si kuli fila pada si kuli le dapat dua orang ni. He's my young brother. By birth, yeah. He's my young brother by birth and by advisory. And I'm privileged that I'm speaking on this occasion for two reasons. We met in 2018 and we were contemplating on advices to Mary. He has taken it very serious. <laughs> so you can thank me for that. <laughs> and I can see now that he meant to Mary. So I'm going to mention a few things here. How many minutes am I given? Enough, thank you. I'm going to mention a few things, principles about marriage, because I will conclude what I started. Me and David, we know each other since 2014. He came to Rundu. I welcomed him there because I was already there. Uh, he loved the church and we will always meet at church. We will always find ourselves at one side each time there is a discussion in the church. We realize we have got one common thing. Secondly, David is a salesperson, is a marketer. We meet in that field as well. In his work, that's what he does. That's what he used to do. That's what I used to do as well. So we have got another second thing in common. So now I'm going to mention a few things. Even you that are planning to get married, you should take this wisdom from me. Are we together? Yeah, thank you. Uh, there is something that is very blind, is what you call love. It does not know borders. Whether you are from left side or right side, if love meets with you, you are finished. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> you are finished. So, when it comes to that part, I want to believe, David, you have traveled places in your field of work. You have traveled places as a person. Your, one of your adventure is to travel. You have seen women, but you did not see one woman who could meet the basics of your heart until when you came to Ovambolent. You know, sometimes they transfer you and you'll be crying. From today, stop crying. Because some of the other transfer is leading you to your destination. It's true. David was transferred to Rundu. I know how much he was complaining. He's my very best friend. I know how much he was complaining. My Mary. David is a villain. <laughs> you keep quiet, I'm talking. <laughs> yes, elders are speaking. You keep quiet. Yeah. Well. Thank you very much. Uh, but little did he know that 
destination is bringing him closer to his rib. For tonight you should go on your knees and thank God. Because he brought you here next to uh, Ialo, uh, Helvi, next to Helvi, who is your rib. Ne? Not the ribs, rib. <laughs> Are we together? Yes. Thank you. Now, what I want Madame to go in the read tonight, ne? what I want you to go in the read, Proverbs 31 verse 10, that one is very important. Ne? The second one, First Corinthians chapter 7, go in the read this too. It will be your directives each time you handle David. It will help David to understand you. And the two of you, you will build a better home. All together. Please, as much as I'm saying I'm David's best friend, ne? don't allow yourself, David, to find yourself at one point speaking to me about your wife. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Should you realize you are about to open your mouth <laughs> to talk to me about your wife, it's better you cough or faint. <laughs> those affairs, those affairs or issues, ne? in every house, in every homestead, there is what they call a sanctuary. That sanctuary is for you and your wife to gossip and to fight, to talk rubbish and to reconcile. When you go home, the two of you should identify which of that sanctuary, which of that place in your house or in your courtyard should be a sanctuary. That's where you go talk. Ne? One advice again is, remember this, whatever you have, as much as I may be smiling, all of us standing here, we are lying to you, we don't like it. Oh. Ne? <laughs> Did you understand what I said? Huh? Yes. Explain. <laughs> there are those that are busy smiling here and even giving a little mm. ne? We are so happy Helvi is married now. We are so happy David has come into our family and stuff. We are lying to you. We don't like what you have. <laughs> Cherish it yourself. You find out wherever you went to get it, Embrace it, it's yours. Madam, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, the first point that I want you to understand, it could be you have done it or you didn't do it. When you marry, ne? first you don't marry David. Or you don't marry healthy. You marry the parents. These are the role models. Ne? Go to Meme Helvi, find out. There is that can name which when Helvi used to cry too much when she was young. How she used to eat when she was young. If you will be better friend of her, she will tell you that can name and that can secret and how she eats. Then you will know how to save her in the house. Let me help do the same. Go to 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 to, to Meme, uh, David. Ne? Find out how he used to cry, how he used to eat. What is the nickname? Every person here has got the that kind of nickname, which only Mama knows. Ne? When he will be angry, you call that kind of name. You'll see him walking away. Say, you next time. Ne? It's finished. Conflict resolved. Ne? But should you stand and say, Yeah, you, David, I know already. You'll be a punching bag. All right? I'm finishing. Ne? A house or a courtyard has got departments. Do you know that? 
There are four or five departments. Department number one is the kitchen. Department number two is the sitting room. Department number three is the bathroom. Department number four is the bedroom. And the department number five is the courtyard. This department should be fulfilled. If the kitchen is not maintained, your husband will start to go and eat at the market. And those ladies at the market, they know how to cook. <laughs> yeah? Don't allow him to go and eat at the market. He should not leave the house without eating. Nah. Even a small piece, let him take a bite. Then he goes, so that it forces him to come back. Okay? The department of the sitting room, should you realize you are fighting for a remote, you want to watch Merida again when you are already married. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to watch whatever that he has to watch. And then, at the end of the day, he will feel, let me go see my friend, because you are fighting over the remote. Go back to this day and see which what is the, his best program that the two of you can watch? Force yourself to like it. What is your best program? He should force himself to like it. So that after watching, you go to the department of number three. You take a bath. From there, you escort yourself to department number four, bedroom. <laughs> yeah? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's heart to be cheerful. You'll be missing each other. Failure to that. If this three department is dead, eh, the bedroom will be dead. So David, listen to this one very, very careful, my young brother. I'm telling you the fact. Eh, in the yard, if you have a house, eh, there are certain positions where you sit and watch your house. Don't just sit anywhere. Find that corner. You sit there. You watch the environment. Watch your house. See what you can produce. And sit two of you and join forces. Now, because from here, we are going to start gossiping about you. Did you see how he was at his wedding? He was not even smiling. He was what and what and what. what? Because me, I don't know you. I will come and gospel with you, the same gospel that I was gossiping with somebody. And then, not, not, little to realize you are David. It has happened. Right? So, this is about life. I'm very much happy. You are married now. Yeah? At least now you can come to my level, oh. same age. <laughs> because you are married. Yeah. You have, you have, Okay, you have signed that certificate. Go and check it very well. It only has a date of marriage. It does not have expiry date. <laughs> I, what I'm saying is, I don't want you to marry the marriage certificate. Marry a person, day in, day out. Yeah. Yeah? You can go, for formality purposes and you need bank whatever and stuff, you can use the marriage certificate. You want to put it on your medical head, use the marriage certificate. Don't use the marriage certificate when you go to families. You can tear that things, you throw it away. Marry a person, not a marriage certificate. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It looks like this three week speech has actually worked out. He was speaking on behalf of all of us, those of us who are practicing to be future grooms also, including himself. David <laughs> walked in, um, he was wearing a Red Bull sh jacket because apparently he was the best rep at African. Where, where was he? What's the place? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Interpac, yes. So dude comes in, he's feeling himself. We're wondering now, who is this person? Huh? Okay, so we left it. So he started with us 
um, years back and I stand here speaking not only as a colleague but as a friend as well so David the colleague and the friend hey David is hardworking slave driver these people can attest to that and passionate about work you will never get a day whether he is sick or not that he does not avail himself for work I always tell him we'll come bury you we will come bury you like and find somebody else take care of yourself but he doesn't listen to me so maybe he will listen to you now that's why you are the wife <laughs> so please take care of that part because he, he doesn't listen um, David as a friend is there for you always sometimes he bullies you but it's all for a good place it all comes from a good place I'm honored to stand here as his friend and colleague. We've come a long way and proud of you, man, the man you have become. May this journey be one of joy and growth. Yellow, take care of our King D. He certainly will do the same for you. May God be your centerpiece as a married couple. Pray always from us at Bokomo. Thank you. I mean, we don't share one yes. He was speaking of Gerardo because he's a Gerardo guy. Kagulo is speaking English. He's not because he doesn't know English. He can speak English very well, but he was speaking of Gerardo. Me na kusha aru he si matu hagai re na ye si aru prong mo si ma si atero aru kui ro share. Normally, when they meet wherever at the office or wherever, he will speak in of Gerardo for whatever reason. Okay. Namba no, I mean, kura me ne po o si bomba si heji. He is standing on behalf of the whole group of the Pokomo family. Uh, uh, David Takashiwaluna. Uh -uh. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 He probably cannot pronounce the same name so correctly because they are not from the same group or tribe. Mm -hmm.